Hey everyone, it's Corleone from Lightcast Studios, and today we're going to be diagnosing internet connection problems so we can figure out what's going on and also learn from our mistakes. So as you can see, we have a bunch of different problems, and you're trying to figure out what I have open right here. I have Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, and also Safari. Now each uh, internet browser has their own problems going on, and what we're trying to do is figure out why. And you may be thinking, well, I didn't mess with any of the settings. What is the problem? Now, what we can do is we need to check if we just installed, uh, you know, your your operating system, and maybe you don't have the network driver, and you're like figuring out what the heck is that. And usually, when you reinstall an operating system, you have to have all the drivers, and if you have the internet connected to your um, your operating system it should automatically download the drivers but for some cases like Windows XP where it doesn't automatically do that because the network is completely different from the network on Windows 7 uh, you're gonna have to download the driver yourself so in order to do that you can follow the steps with Windows XP using the same instructions that I'm doing on Windows 7 by clicking start right clicking my computer clicking properties and then finding device manager and once you get to device manager you'll see a little window pop up with a bunch of different things as you can see it says my uh, internet my, uh, my, my computer name and also several other things such as uh, my devices and you know my display adapters and what we need to do is figure out what the heck are these things and as you can see there's little yellow cones and if you have a problem with your network connection usually it would mean that there is no driver you don't have a driver installed for it and since my internet is connected as I have it plugged in through the back on my Ethernet cable, also known as a Cat5e connection, um, it, it's working. And I already installed the driver, but if it pops up with a little yellow cone right here, it means that you have a problem and you need to install the driver. So if you're watching this video right now, you need to look up your drivers, or you, if you don't know what the, your uh, network adapter is, you can simply download a program I provide in the description called Specky, created by the same companies uh, that made... Uh, CCleaner and Defragler and basically it'll tell you what your network adapter is just look it up on Google and you should be able to find your driver download install it onto a DVD or a USB drive and install it from there by right clicking the driver um, update driver software and click browse my computer for software and you should browse for your CD or USB drive and it should find it then once it's installed and you're still wondering why you have problems, maybe it's set because your IT, your I, you know, your IT or your computer technician changed settings for your internet in order for him to work on it. And let's say you have a problem where it says unable to connect to proxy server, which means basically that the internet is connected to a proxy server. And so what you need to do is go to customize and control Google Chrome or your options panel, usually used as a gear or a, uh, a tool and then click options, internet options, and as you can see it opens another window, we go to under the hood, scroll down and find change proxy settings, and then what we need to do, click connection, LAN settings, and uncheck proxy server. Now that should work. Now the next problem we will be having is also where you have a page, your home page is working, but when you go into another page, it doesn't work. And as you can see, this is offline mode, which basically means when HTML people want to work on a certain page of a website, they usually go into offline mode so they don't accidentally click onto another page and the uh, links don't actually accidentally change the code in some way or another. So when you try to click on another page, obviously it wouldn't work. Um, so what we're going to do is go to um, file and as you can see it says work offline we're just going to uncheck that and you should be able to go to another page as you can see Google video now works whereas before it didn't work the next thing we need to check is why Internet Explorer doesn't work and as you can see it doesn't give you the things like it, the text that it said on Windows um, on Google Chrome and also Mozilla Firefox it just says cannot display the web page and you're trying to figure out what the heck is going on well, in some cases, some browsers don't work and some do work, and what you need to do is click Tools, click Internet Options, and then go to Connections like we did in Google Chrome, click LAN Settings, and as you can see, it says Use Automatic Configuration Script. And as it said right here in the proxy settings, these are both called uh, localhost internet protocols, basically IPs for the local hosts on your computer. If you type these in onto your uh, URL, you will end up on to your router page or your telephone company that uh, provides the internet for you and so once you uncheck this box it should work 
where it automatically detects if you have the internet connected click OK and you should be able to access the internet as you can see Google now works now the next problem is fail to open this page now you're trying to figure out why doesn't the home page work on uh, Safari and or any other browser what we need to do is also go into the tools click preferences and as you can see right here the home page is set to www something and that's not a valid URL so what we need to do is set it as a valid URL so what we're going to do is type in google.com and then we're going to close it and let's let's just open Safari once more and as you can see uh, Google should work and that's it. So now you know how to uh, set up your internet connection just in case you have these kind of pro, pro, um, problems like uh, internet is offline or pro proxy settings are interfering with your internet, connect internet connection or automatic configuration script is, is uh, interfering or just simply your home page isn't working. And also if it's a bigger problem you need to check if your driver is working by installing the latest driver. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot. Also the instructions are also in the description if you didn't get everything because it is a lot to take in and feel free to check the description. Don't forget to comment, subscribe and thanks for watching.